Welcome back to Foundation's YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about healthy shoulders. Um, whether you're an overhead athlete, whether you're a crossfitter, whether you're a swimmer. Um, man, even if you love bowling, your shoulder is a big deal and shoulder pain is no joke. So to avoid those things, you have to have a healthy shoulder. Now, it's for, for you to have a healthy shoulder, a lot of things have to happen, but a quick check is when you turn around, you should be able to, to touch the opposite shoulder blade here, right? And then you should also be able to touch the opposite shoulder blade here. Most of the time, people are okay doing this, have a hard time doing this. So grab a mirror, or a loved one, um, take a selfie, whatever, but check if you can reach it. If you can't, then your internal rotation or your functional internal rotation is a little bit limited. So here's how you can work on it, okay? It's easy, you lie down, and the first thing I'm gonna do is, let's say I couldn't reach there and I have some range of motion issues, I'm going to place my hands kind of under my glutes, and you may find that even doing that makes you kind of lift your shoulder like this because you're limited, right? So when you get there, you kind of trap the hands down, and then all you do is just work on squeezing your shoulder blades together. Now as I squeeze my shoulder blades together, I feel a little bit of a stretch on this side. And if I wind it up a little more and I move those hands higher up my back, so now they're under my lower back area instead of my glutes, I can squeeze my shoulder blades together again, trying to get my, my shoulder blades flat, and it's an even bigger stretch, okay? Please don't do this with any kind of pain because you can hurt yourself. You should just feel a gentle stretch. Now once I did that, I might hold that for about a 10 second hold, and then relax, and then a 10 second hold, and then relax. Now let's say your range of motion is great, and your shoulders just feel a little weak when you're doing your preferred activity. Then what you can do is turn this into a strengthening activity and it's pretty easy. So again, I start with my hands at my glutes. Now, what I'm gonna do with my hands is, is create some pressure down towards the table. And then without losing contact with my forearms or my hands, keeping everything perfectly flat, I'm gonna lift up. And then I'm gonna come down. And it's actually a little more challenging than you would think. And if that was easy, then I would wind it up a little more. Now, the important thing is that when you create pressure down towards the table that that shoulder doesn't come up like this. And I hope you could see that on the video. Um, so again, I wanna create some pressure, get my shoulder blades down, keep everything absolutely flat, and then I lift up. And I try to hold those hands down, keep some pressure down against the table, and then I come down. And I could go through again and do it even higher. The higher I get, the harder it is. And I hold there and I lift. Then I come down. So that's a good little progression um, to make sure your shoulders stay healthy. It works on internal rotation. Um, if you're curious about the muscles you're working, um, you're working your scapular stabilizers, your trapezius, your rhomboids, um, but you're also really focusing on getting your subscapularis, which is one of the primary internal rotators of the shoulder that often gets neglected. So um, again, at Foundation, we remind you that movement is a gift, and we hope you enjoy it.